first alert forecast with forecaster Jennifer Perez, only on Fox 47 News at 10. Well, we are sure lucking out these past few days with the weather. So the real question here is, <laughs> how long will our luck continue? Actually, a couple more days. Okay. Originally, we had some rain in the forecast. We still do, but for the most part, we're actually looking a lot drier now. Hmm. And we'll talk about that in just a second. Have a look at our satellite and radar loop. We're under mostly clear conditions, a few high-level clouds, the rain well east and north of us. Cloud cover, though, what we do have is coming in from the south, and today was actually a really nice day. A blue skies to start off our day. Then we saw some of the cloud cover move into the area in the afternoon, turning to a partly sunny afternoon. Kept the sunshine as well as the winds that made it for a very comfortable day for us. Low temperatures today right around mid to low 50s. High temperatures have topped off in the upper 70s. And that had to do with a little bit of that cloud cover we saw. We just didn't really get it to 80. Marshall, though, made it to 80. We were at 78, 79 in Hastings, a little cooler in Mason at 74. Across the region, temperatures are cooling down, still a little warm, mainly in the mid to upper 60s further west of us. Madison's at 69, 67 in Eau Claire, 62 in Green Bay, a little cooler further north. They're in the 50s. We will get those 50s tonight. Overnight, our temperatures will be right around the mid 50s. It'll be a little cool for us. A look at our national satellite and radar loop. We've got scattered showers further south of us, and that has helped increase a little bit of the high level clouds in our area. For the most part, this stays south of us and that'll continue moving east. We'll see a little bit more of the cloud cover from that system tomorrow. But what we should be looking out for is a system over North Dakota that's moving northeast. And for the most part, it stays north, but we will be we could be seeing a chance of a shower mainly Friday night and into Saturday morning. It won't be a washout. It's looking a lot drier than originally as far as the models are concerned. Concern. Let's break it down for you tonight. We stay mostly clear. High pressure continues to dominate the area for tomorrow. I feel like I'm going to start sounding like a broken record because it's going to be just like today for the most part. Very comfortable conditions. Some sunshine mixed in with some clouds throughout the day. A little bit more clouds tomorrow though compared to today from that system south of us. Friday is looking good as well. We'll start off mostly sunny Friday morning and then we'll see some cloud cover work into the area of Friday afternoon and then we'll see Friday night likely a chance of a shower from the system just west of us. That'll stay north so it really won't be over us but we could be seeing a chance of a stray shower Friday night and into Saturday. Saturday's looking good as well. It's not until Sunday night that we'll see our next best chance for some rain. Tonight uh, mid 50s for our overnight lows. Tomorrow morning upper 50s high Temperatures tomorrow topping off in the upper 70s. Friday, much the same. We'll start off right around the upper 50s, right around 60, and then we'll top off in the upper 70s, right around 80. For this weekend, we will be warming up. Our highs for this weekend look to be in the low 80s for us. A nice warm up for us. Tonight, we'll stay mostly clear with a low right around 56. Winds light out of the east southeast. Tomorrow, Mostly sunny, a high of about 78. We'll see some puffy clouds in the afternoon. Overall, though, a nice, calm, comfortable day for us tomorrow. Look at the seven day. We stay mostly dry well into Friday. It's not until Sunday night and into Monday when we will see a greater chance of some rain. At least it's Sunday night, though, so hopefully everyone will take full advantage of their weekend leading up to that point so I won't ruin too many plans. I'm sure they will. At least they will now, right, Jennifer?